at it. <clears throat> Around the geopolitical theater, it's, it's no secret that Israelis and Arabs uh, have quarreled over claims to Jerusalem for, for fucking decades. Today, this long lasting spat is one of the world's most problematic controversies. However, though, the conflict can be considered an Israeli Palestine dispute, but it is in essence a war between Israelis and Hamas that that may be a sequel to 2005 I believe therefore the 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 cancellation of the Palestinian election Arab attacks on Israel on Israeli Jews in Jerusalem and that uh, that that Israeli courts found Palestinian evictions lawful in a sector of Jerusalem that has been under Arab control since 1948, I believe. Matter of fact, yeah, I know I'm right. These are all reasons Hamas once again decided to continue warring with Israel. In 2000. Five, I believe uh, pal the Palestinian presidential uh, elections were conducted in the West Bank and, and, and the Gaza Strip. This this was the, the first general election um, in as much as 1996 and the last until uh, a few days ago. However, as opposed to to, to now in 2005 Hamas lacked the political capital it currently has yet then Hamas would operate as an, an, an interest and terrorist group Hamas was aware that they were strong in the West Bank and used grassroots tactics to, to boycott the election of 2005. Now, conversely, from 2005 to 2021, uh, Hamas has garnered more power in the Arab world thereafter the Palestinian election in 2005. Notwithstanding all nations around the world, besides UAE ones, view Hamas as a, a terrorist group and not, and not a, a political one. Due to the latter, political scientists may be inclined to surmise that the 2021 election um, revocation um, was done to suppress Hamas's political legitimacy <laughs> for for if the election were to commence Hamas dominated West Bank and and Gaza plus Palestinian dominated uh, 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 East Jerusalem would most certainly give Hamas three perhaps even more seats in the parliament and of course Israel they, they just didn't want to have that shit they couldn't have that shit <laughs> in addition another reason stemming from the previous um, contrib contributing to the apoplectic fighting between state and group is Arab attacks on Israeli Jews. Now, now it would be slipshod of me, not to mention Lahava, a a a a far far right Jewish supremacy organization headquartered in Israel that fervently opposes Jewish Arab and Jewish 
Christianity um, um, assimilation. <laughs> Additionally, it would be remiss of me to only see this situation through a conservative lens and believe Palestinians attacking Israeli Jews was was unwarranted, notwithstanding Lahava engaged in demonstrations in the streets of Jerusalem chanting death to Arabs before the attack on Jews in the Jerusalem streets. <clears throat> huh. See, I'm going to figure this shit. Let me see how I'm going to formulate this shit. Okay. Last but not least, because this coincides with the two other issues which started the conflict in 2021, and that is, that is Israeli courts found Palestinian evictions lawful in a sector of Jerusalem under, under Arab control since 1948. Now, according to the Council of Foreign Relations, Palestinian evictions and, and police restrictions during the Muslim holy month of, of Ramadan are, are driving forces of the, the recent escalation of tensions in Palestine. The growing, the growing ire between uh, the Israeli Jews and and Muslims, and that um, and that many Arab states refuse to accept Israel's uh, uh, statehood in the region after Trump called for peace before he left office paved the way. It, it paved the way for Israeli courts to render it legal to evict Palestinian families out of homes um, in, in East Jerusalem, allowing Jewish families to, to move in them. Additionally, since uh, Jerusalem has been internationally recognized as 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 Israel's capital city it it has been said that the Israeli government has been longing to change the the demographic of the of the predominantly Arab East Jerusalem to an and an Israeli dominated area. The latter, the latter, it, it, it makes sense why an, an Israeli authority referendum canceled the 2021 Palestinian elec election. And the, the, and the, the amalgamation of, of all the factors that, that I've stated would make it impossible for Hamas to gain seats in the, the region and, and keeping Jerusalem and Gaza predominantly in the hands of Israel. And 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 Benumat. It would be myopic to, to, to blindly be one sided on the issue as if one is completely innocent whilst the other is guilty furthermore much like much like it is foolish for liberals to believe pausing funds to to Israel is conducive for peace in Palestine I as a conservative finds it equally unhinging 
for fellow conservatives to uh, opine their their inflexible acceptance to anything good or bad that Prime Minister Netanyahu does. Honestly, yes. Yes, Republicans want to satisfy a, a, a valuable ally, much like all, much like everybody does. But, but make no mistake, the Israel-U.S. relations is no quid pro quo. Essentially, they need, um, they need this country more than the, the opposite. Therefore, it would not it would not hurt relations if conservatives were not always in acquiescence with Israel. Conversely, Democrats like like AOC, uh, Gregory Meeks, and and, and, and and Ilhan Omar are, are trying to legislatively cause um, divestiture. In Israel expenditures for weapons, albeit, albeit, they they are well aware that Hamas not only fired the first missile in this conflict, but may not be planning on abiding by the the, the ceasefire. Now, now I I, I, I told you something I've been exclaiming since Trump um, believed he broke a peace between Israel and and the, the the UAE that the truce would 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 not last long because of the political party that was going to be in the executive and the fact that only two Arab nations respected Israel's statehood <laughs> by by no nah, by no means by no means am I advocating uh, uh, American isolationism however however I, I, I disagree that neither political party should continue to politicized loss of life or, or geo calamities for for political gain notably and it should be remembered this conflict is is not against two states but rather a state one state against the the known terrorist group Hamas and it should be problematic. That should be problematic to, to all that that a terrorist organization has grown has grown powerful enough to 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 start war to start a war with a nation. That should be problematic. That's that 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 yeah yeah yeah. That, that's all I have to say about that. Uh. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell while you're at it. Well, <laughs> that's it. That's all, folks. <laughs> ah, boy. Ah, boy. <laughs>